And welcome everybody to another edition of the GSMC Football Podcast brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. As always, I'm your host Kenneth Grunfelder and it's great to have you guys here on this Friday, August 9th. We have a lot to talk about on the show today, but before I get into that, I just want to let you guys know that we did qualify for Super Chats. So, a little different, a little bit different of a graphic here. So, obviously we appreciate the questions that you guys ask us during the show, uh, whether it is a question, a comment, or an opinion, uh, we really do appreciate that. But if you want to absolutely make sure that your message stands out and gets featured on the show, it's a very easy way to do that using the Super Chat feature now. So what you do is you click the dollar sign at the bottom of the chat box to send in your Super Chat. This guarantees that your message gets on the air, and it's also a fantastic way to support our channel we rely on your support to keep bringing you the sports content you love and we appreciate every bit of it now if you don't do that of course we still have the link which is gsmcpodcast.net and that is on the ticker at the bottom of the show segment so if you want if you don't want to use the super chat the link is still available but that is a new feature that we have on the show here now it's going to be it's going to take some time to try to find the right uh things to say uh doing that now because uh you know i'm so used to saying the same uh tip or donate and all that uh with the link but now we got super chat so uh you, you guys are gonna have to work with me as uh you know we go through that but um yeah so we qualified for super chat so like i said it's on the dollar sign on the chat on YouTube. So if you go to that and you want to get your comment featured, uh, make sure to do that. Uh, we greatly appreciate it. So let's get into what we are going to discuss on the show today. So we're going to start off the show. We're going to recap last night's preseason games, uh, both of them, the Giants and the Lions and the Patriots and the Panthers. Talk about some of the uh, good performances from those games. Give you my thoughts from them. And then in the second part of the show, we'll take a look at all the preseason matchups for this weekend between tonight and Sunday. And then in the third part of the show, we'll talk about Nick Foles. I know I brought it up yesterday. He did announce his retirement, so I kind of wanted to highlight his career and just talk about that as well. So that'll be in the third part of the show. Uh, The fourth part of the show, uh, we will get into talking about, you know, some of the injuries, of course. I, I know I've talked about them in a couple of segments, but just guys that could be out for week one and when they could possibly be back, or maybe they come back week one. So we'll get into that as well. Uh, so injury updates, basically. And then in the final part of the show, I will rank the wide receiver groups in the NFC South. So that's the rundown for the show today. So let's get into the first topic, which is discussing the preseason games from last night. So obviously... It's preseason. Didn't really get to see a lot of the starters play. But we'll start off with the Patriots and the Panthers game. I did have the Giants and the Lions game on, but I did go back, watch the highlights. And uh, the Patriots, they did win this game 17-3. to uh, All the quarterbacks for the Patriots did end up playing. You had Bailey Zappi, Joe Milton, Drake May. Jacoby Brissett. Jacoby Brissett started the game. Drake May came in after that. Then Zappi, and then Joe Milton. And Joe Milton played the best out of all of them. Uh, he had an impressive debut. Uh, but yeah, Drake May only went two or three for 19 yards. No touchdowns. No interceptions. Jacoby Brissett went 0 for three. Uh, Bailey Zappi went 12 for 20 for 108 yards. No touchdowns. No interceptions. Joe Milton went four for six for 54 yards and a touchdown. And that touchdown was to uh, Jaquay Jackson, and that was from uh, 38 yards out. Uh, and that was a dart. That was a laser of a throw. Um, and he also was scrambling around a lot as well. Um, Joe Milton. Uh, he, he did, uh, he had, a, well, he had 22 yards on the ground. But, um, you know, there was, there was a play where it looked like he was going to get sacked, but he was able to avoid it and, uh, you know, turn that into a positive gain. Um, so, you know, it did 
maybe turn some heads uh, last night. Now, again, it's just the first preseason game. You don't want to go crazy. Um, you know, I, I know there's going to be people that overreact and say, oh, well, you know, maybe he's got to be the starter instead of uh, Drake May. Because Drake May really didn't play that much. But again, it's the first preseason game. So, I, you know, we, 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 we shouldn't go crazy over that. Um Actually, you know, the Patriots starters did play. I mean, you had Ramondre Stevenson. He had a carry for 11 yards. Uh, Antonio Gibson played for a little bit. Uh, the leading receiver for the Patriots last night was uh, uh, Kashan uh, Booty. He had three receptions for 53 yards. Um, Jalen Polk, their rookie, had three receptions for 14 yards. Uh, Bailey Zappi, uh had a fumble, but he recovered it. The Patriots' defense last night had five sacks. Uh, Joey Sly uh, went one for one in field goals. I didn't even know he was a Patriot. Uh, he kicked a 42-yard field goal. Um, uh, well, actually, no, one for one with uh, field goals, sorry. forty-two. Uh, it was a 42-yarder. Um, and uh, the other kicker, uh, Chad Ryland, he went two for two on extra points. Um, but, yeah, so that's the, on the Patriots' side of things. And then for the Panthers, uh, Jake Luton and Jack Plummer, who started the game, uh, those are your quarterbacks. Uh, Plummer went 11-21 to for 86 yards, uh, no touchdowns, no interceptions. And then Jake Luton went 7-9 to for 38 yards. Uh, Mike Boone uh, was their leading rusher. He had eight carries for 34 yards. Uh, the leading receiver for the Panthers was Jordan Matthews. Uh, three receptions for 40 eight yards uh there so um and then as for the panthers defense uh they had a couple of sacks and uh their kicker harrison uh mavis uh mavis went one for one 40 uh, 41 yard field goal um but yeah not not really i mean both games i mean the giants won 14 to 3 against the lions but yeah not a lot of scoring but you know t some takeaways from this game like i said joe milton um, you know, the defense had five sacks, so, uh, that's really my takeaways. Nothing really to talk about with the Panthers, um, you know, because Bryce Young didn't play in this game, uh, but, yeah, no, um, the, the one big takeaway, like I said, is really Joe Milton's debut, so, um, you know, it, it'll be interesting to see how they handle, you know, the third, uh, quarterback spot. Because uh, you know Drake May and Jacoby Brissett, you know, are going to, um, you know, be one and two. But then it's the other spots. Uh, I'm curious to see what ends up happening. Um, you know, if uh, Zappi ends up making the team. Uh, but I don't know. You got to like what you see from uh, from Joe Milton uh, from, uh, you know, his playing time last night. So that's really my thoughts on that game. Now let's get into the Giants and the Lions. So, you know, again... A lower scoring game than that uh three points less uh this was the score of 14 to 3 and not really much to say about the lines other than i thought you know the defense you know played uh played well for them yeah, well i mean maybe not in the running game but they did get an interception last night off of drew lock um but yeah the offense really didn't do much uh nate sudfeld started the game actually had to come back into the game because Hendon Hooker took over, um, the former Tennessee quarterback. And, you know, he trucked a man on one of his scrambles. Um, you know, was making plays for them, but then he ended up getting hurt. So then they had to put Nate Sudfeld back in. And Nate Sudfeld actually is recovering from a torn ACL, which I was not aware of. Um, and also, if you remember, Nate Sudfeld, he was the quarterback that came in back in 2020 when the, the Eagles were playing Washington on that Sunday night. And, you know, Giant fans are rooting for the Eagles to win the game. And Doug Peterson took out Jalen Hurts and put in Nate Sudfeld, um, which sent Giant fans into an uproar. But, um, yeah, so Sudfeld played. He went 13-24, 96 yards, no touchdowns, and a pick. Hendon Hooker went 5-9 for nine for 36 yards. He also had 34 yards on the ground. Um, I know from reading the recaps from last night, um, people like what they saw out of the rookie running back for the Lions, uh, uh, Sion uh, Vaki, I think that's how, I, I hope that's how you pronounce it. Uh, but he had uh, four carries for 29 yards. 
Their leading receiver was Isaiah Williams. He had four receptions for 35 yards. Uh, Donovan Peoples-Jones played last night. He had two tar- he had two targets, one reception for 26 yards. Um, he, they brought him over from Cleveland last year. Um, but actually, on the interception, though, that Sudfeld threw, you know, the Lions ended up getting the ball back because uh, the Giants ended up fumbling it, and the Lions got it back, although it didn't really amount to anything. Also, Jake Bates. Uh, the UFL kicker uh, made his debut, and he kicked a 53-yard field goal. Yeah, 53-yard field goal, um, and he's gonna be—he's gonna get some runway because uh, Michael Badgley, of course, is out for the year. Who is their kicker? And um, you know, so he's gonna get some runway to be the guy. And we know he has a big leg from the UFL when he was making 60 yarders constantly, but. Um, yeah, so th- that's what I have to say on the Lions. Again, I mean, they didn't play any, really any of their starters, so, you know, well, especially on offense. But, um, yeah, but as for the Lions, well, actually, also I wanted to uh, read the uh, the sack totals. So they had, uh, they had two sacks last night. And then as for the Giants, I like what I saw out of their running backs. So they ran for a total of 155 yards. They had two touchdowns. Eric Gray had two touchdowns. His first touchdown run was a 48-yarder, and, um, you know, kind of a shifty running back there. Um, you know, made the safety look silly, uh, made a nice move there, and, um, you know, also caught that wheel route down the sideline. So, you know, maybe they got something with him. Uh, also, uh, Tyrone Tracy as well. He started the game. And then you had uh, Dante Miller late in the game. Uh, he was their leading rusher with 63 yards. Um, so, you know, may- maybe it's possible the Giants can have something with those running backs. Um, again, early on. But you got those guys along with Devin Singletary. The offensive line looked like that, you know, it was, it was it's improving, which is good. Uh, that was something that they talked about a lot in the broadcast last night. So, I, I you know... Maybe you got to be excited about that. And also the defense, I think, had – how many sacks they had? They had five sa- – or four sacks last night. Um, I mean, again, it's the first preseason game, but there are some things that you got to like if, if you're a Giant fan. Um, Drew Locke actually left the game early with a hip injury, but he could have came back in because Joe Shane was on the broadcast when I was watching it, and he said he could have came back in. So, uh, But he only went four for ten for 17 yards and a pick, and that was a bad interception. And Malik Neighbors was open on a pass, and the crowd was, like, you know, making noise for Drew Locke to throw it to him, and Drew Locke did not do that. So uh, he missed Malik Neighbors there. Tommy DeVito looked like the better quarterback of the two last night. So those two guys are going to be fighting for that backup job. But, you know, as of right now, Tommy DeVito looked like the better quarterback. But, again, it's the first game. So, um, yeah, that that's pretty much it, though, in talking about those games. Um, again, don't take everything too seriously. Everything's got to be taken with a grain of salt because it is preseason. But there, there are things you got to like from both of these games. Um, you know, as for the Lions, look, we know how good they're going to be. This is not something to, you know, go crazy over, which I don't think anybody is. But, you know, maybe you got something with Hendon Hooker as the, uh, as the backup. You know, making plays. He, he's mobile. Um... So I I think he should be the backup over uh, Nate Sudfeld after yesterday, but that's just me. So we're going to take our first break of the show, and then when we come back, we will uh, discuss the other matchups for this weekend when we return from our first break. So with that being said, stick around, and we'll be right back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. (laughs) 